Introducing MIDI Engine Broadcasters Plugin. Make sure MIDI Engine Core is installed and active. Now, let's import a MIDI file and the audio file. The audio file will provide sound while the MIDI file provides the MIDI events to react to. Next, we create an actor that will act as our MIDI events broadcaster. To give any actor MIDI event broadcasting capability, just add the MIDI broadcaster component to it. Make sure to select the MIDI asset you'd like to broadcast MIDI events from. To start broadcasting MIDI events, you just need to call the Start Broadcast function on the component. Now let's play the audio file we imported to provide sound. The audio file will be synced with the MIDI events from the MIDI asset. Now that we are broadcasting MIDI events, we need other actors that will listen for MIDI events and react to them. In this example, we create a basic static mesh actor. For an actor to listen to MIDI events, we add the MIDI listener component to it. We then add the event MIDI note on from the listener component to react to MIDI events. When a MIDI event is broadcast, the instrument track the MIDI note belongs to is provided. In this example, we are interested in all MIDI notes from the kick instrument tracks only. We want to react whenever a MIDI note starts playing in these tracks. Our reaction logic here is to move the static mesh object up by 10 units in the Z direction each time the kick drum plays. Sometimes, you may need more information about the MIDI event. You can get more information about the U MIDI note like its velocity, duration, etc. You can also get broadcaster-specific information if you need it. Let's drag both the MIDI broadcaster and MIDI listeners to the level. Now let's play an editor and review the results. Your MIDI listeners should react each time a kick drum hits. And I can put you in. We will now show more examples using different types of actors. The first actor will be a mesh with physics enabled on it. And we will add an impulse to the rigid body each time a kick drum hits. Our second actor is a skeletal mesh actor. We wish to play an animation montage to scale his chest each time the kick drum hits. You can use as many MIDI listeners as you like, and they will all listen and react to the same MIDI asset. That's it. Make sure to check out the MIDI Engine Sequencer extension and MIDI Engine MetaSounds extension.